Hey guys, Trevor Duncan here with Cell Seattle. I appreciate you joining me on my YouTube channel. Today I'd like to show you how to do a factory reset or also known as a master reset using only the hardware buttons on a Motorola Click 2 for use with T-Mobile. The model number is MB611. And a couple reasons you might need to do this kind of reset. Maybe you've locked yourself out of the phone. Uh, maybe you're getting ready to gift it or sell it to someone else and you want to make sure all your user data is removed. Um, keep in mind that this phone is powered by Moto Blur, so it does require a Moto Blur account in order to sign in. Um, this will not reset your Moto Blur password, but it will completely wipe all data off of the phone. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, first step is that you want to make sure that the phone is completely turned off as this one here is. We're going to be using um, a series of buttons. We're going to be using the X here on the keypad. We're going to be using the power button here on top. And um, shortly we're going to be using the volume keys over here on the side for navigation. Um, helps if you have two hands free. Um, right now I don't, but let's go ahead and get started. The first step is that we're going to hold down the letter X and then we're going to press the power key and hold those both at the same time. We're waiting until the Motorola symbol appears. Then we're going to release the power button, but continue holding that X on the keypad. You're going to hold that for a few seconds until we see a triangle pop up with the Android icon. That allows us to get into the restore mode. Keep holding. There it is. Now you can let go of all the buttons. And the next step is that we're going to press the at sign. That's like in an email address, the at. Go ahead and tap that once. That brings us into a new menu. And now is when we need to use the arrow keys. You can see there's a few options here. It says uh, reboot, apply SD card, update, or wipe data factory reset. So over on the side here, we're going to press the down arrow one, two times until wipe data factory reset is highlighted. And then to select that, you're going to use the enter button. That's right here by my thumb. It has an arrow on it. You're going to tap that once. Then we are reminded confirm wipe of all user data. This cannot be undone. So you're going to arrow down on the side again. Yes, delete all user data. Go ahead and press enter again. Now we see some things happening at the bottom of the screen. That's good. That indicates the phone is being wiped. And this process does take a few seconds while we're waiting. Um, if you haven't already, I s encourage you to visit me on my website at Cell Seattle. That's C E L L S E A T T L E dot com where I purchase new and used cell phones. And in the meantime, um, it's now stating that the data wipe is complete. So we're going to go ahead and just press the enter sign again. That's this arrow. And then it will take a few moments, but the phone will go ahead and load back up to the main startup screen where you'll be prompted to log in with a new or existing Moto Blur account. And basically the phone has been reset and it's ready to go. So thank you very much for joining me. I hope you have a great day.